on this year, perhaps the biggest thing that we will remember will be our experience of the lockdown and the threat of the pandemic. But even through this, God has been powerfully at work. And if I look back over the year, the Lord has been preparing us to ramp up for next year. Despite being confined to our homes, we were able to participate in a range of national programs more than any before. We were able to organize national programs in English and Hindi on the National Servants Conference, Intercession, New Evangelization, conferences for the singles and the youth. We've had so much participation that it has never been like this before for us. Every section of our community had online programs during this year. For the kids, we had the God Ventures. For the youth, we had You Can Given by Deacon Kelvin Sanders, now Father Kelvin Sanders. Worship leaders training, teachers, household servants training, emotional well-being series for the youth. For the singles, we had in-depth study on the Catechism of the Catholic Church. We had the Men of Valor, Blessed and Beautiful, Faith on Fire. Every week, singles coming and sharing their testimonies. We had praying the chaplets on Instagram. We had honest confessions. And who can forget for the couples, the Love Beyond Words, the Faith Over Fear series, every week testimonials. Catholic apologetics, trying to educate us on the Catholic faith. So when I look back at the beginning of the year, the Lord inspired us with Big 2020 to reach out to one lakh souls. Now, this is when we, we had no clue about what was coming our way. But through the social media platforms and initiatives, we've been able to reach out to almost 72,000 people with the gospel, different ways. Evangelization that we started off from Jan to March, face-to-face -face programs and then continued on with our online CLS through Zoom. We were able to reach out to 10,000 souls. We've had the amazing opportunity and the response through the online CLS. I want to really share some good news with you all. We've been able to establish our community in several countries outside of India during this year. To start off in the Europe, we have our couples in Netherlands, in Belgium, in Spain, Germany and UK. We have uh, our presence in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi and Kuwait. They are still going through their formation program. In Asia Pacific, we have our couples in Australia and Malaysia. In Americas, we have uh, in Canada, in Costa Rica, and different states in the US. I have been so edified to see our brothers and sisters making themselves available to go and distribute food, packages quite literally, putting their lives on the line to serve migrant workers and those in need. The No One in Need initiative impacted 6,200 families across our country. The Lord has done much in and through us over this year. With our theme being built on rock and the call to be holy warriors. Let us never let the fire to encounter Jesus in the Eucharist and the sacraments die down. We need to rise up and pray for the Holy Catholic Church and continue our work of evangelization. As we grow in our identity of being missionary families of Christ, this year has been a year of preparation, brothers and sisters. The work ahead of us in the coming year would be to continue our work of rapid massive worldwide evangelization by offering various LCC programs in our parishes and in Catholic institutions. We need to establish intercession groups. That's the backbone of our community and our work of evangelization. We will continue to keep our focus on reaching out to one lakh souls. I really want to take this opportunity 
to thank all our community members who are involved in evangelization, especially the team, the social media team working in different platforms. A big thanks to the media and the editing team. They've spent sleepless nights by supporting all our conferences, our online programs, and making our first National Family Day a reality. May the Lord bless each one of us and our family members. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a fruitful New Year. God bless you brothers and sisters.